Sometimes when using the My Viewboard software, uh, you might notice that it's not updating. And there's a couple reasons for this, and it also just kind of depends on the version you're using. So let's start with My Viewboard for Windows. So we've seen uh, from time to time, uh, teachers might uh, dismiss the update, like it's saying, hey, there's an update, and they keep saying no and no and no. And so the way that you manually update it is you go into the settings, which is the cogwheel on the top right, uh, you choose the letter I, and then you'll see this blue link that says update the My Viewboard Whiteboard software. Uh, so if the teacher's been skipping it, you should be able to click this, and then it will say there's an update, and then it will allow you to install it. Now, sometimes uh, you might click this and it will tell you this. It says the version's up to date. Uh, but if you look at the version, uh, you notice that it's not actually up to date. So you can tell that this is uh, June, second 2023 and so i know that this is the latest version but maybe yours is showing uh a couple years behind and what happens is that sometimes if my view board is not updated over a long period of time it can no longer receive that uh, ota or over the air update by going into the settings so what you're going to need to do is uh, either uninstall and reinstall or just go download a fresh copy of my view board and install it and then you should be back on that update cycle it's just too old to get the ota update so you would get that from myviewboard.com download now if you're using the viewboard os side of the board and you go into my viewboard whiteboard this is the same process uh, you click the i uh, you click update and then it will allow you to install it. We've seen, however, sometimes uh, you say, yes, install, and then nothing happens. So if there's an update, install the update, nothing installs the update. Uh, this happens because sometimes uh, the teacher or the user or whoever is using the board might accidentally choose the wrong package installer uh, for install. So for example, uh, we're essentially running an Android version here. And so the Viewboard OS sometimes will allow the teacher to pick uh, when there's an update, do I install this using my Viewboard or do I install it using the package installer? If they accidentally choose my Viewboard, it'll never update because my Viewboard can't install itself. And so the way that we fix this is we go to the home screen and we're gonna open the menu, not this, these are shortcuts. Scroll down to the my Viewboard software and we're going to touch and drag it up to where it says app info. Now the Viewboard OS protects apps with a password. So if you haven't set a password, you might have to do one right now. We're gonna make this easy. We're just gonna call it one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna see uh, basically these, all these different options. And you'll notice that there's this launch by default option. Uh, this is not set, but if a teacher accidentally selected this during an install, this might say my view board. Uh, and so what's gonna happen whenever that install runs is it's not gonna do it correctly, right? It's going to essentially uh, try to install itself and it's not gonna work. So the way that you can fix this issue is you can either clear the default if uh, the default selected, or you can just clear all the data of the my view board app and then go back in and reinstall the update. So if you're on Windows, uh, you might have to do a fresh install by downloading it. If you're on the Viewboard OS, just drag my Viewboard up to that I and then choose clear data and you should be able to update your software from there.